Normally I don't pick up I'm sure I can put this to use. Your flames and my technique? We're stronger together than we are apart. on the prize.
one's tough, but we have no choice. Let me know if you need healing. Barely a blip on our radar. Together, that wasn't even a problem. I'd steer clear of that Zoogle if I were you. Damn, that weak, huh? Some power you wield. You're the one who did the heavy lifting. And what have we got here? Oh, I saw that in a book once. Those things are worth a lot. You're a little bookworm, aren't you? <laughs> I have a bad feeling about Take this. this. You're this. finished! I'm on it! Every way! This one's mine! Take this! Tell By the power of water! This ends now! Consider yourself finished! See you continue oh, on in that thing! Uh, yes, my lady? Something you wanted to say? Barely a blip on our radar. now. The exit will take us straight into Cislodia. <sighs> You're brooding again. What's eating at you? We defeated Balsif and liberated Calaglia from the Renans. Now, we're on our way to rescue our fellow Danans in Cislodia. I'm committed to helping our people. You know that. But then, 
what happens after that? What's our endgame here? Good question. The Danans vastly outnumber the Renans, yet we rarely take up arms because we know that when it comes to firepower, we don't stand a chance. Even if you succeeded in overthrowing the Lords and freeing Dana, then what? Lenigus would still hover over us, the Renan motherland behind it. If they so desired, the Renans could potentially use their might to wipe us off the planet in a second, no matter how powerful that blazing sword of yours is. So what you're saying is we don't stand a chance. So what the heck are we even doing? There's no sense in discarding today's victory for tomorrow's loss. If fighting yields even a single day of freedom, it will all have been worth it in the end. Who knows? Maybe that's the day we make preparations for the battle that will free us for good. Speaking pragmatically, the fact the Renans don't exterminate us all in spite of their technical advantage has to mean one thing. They need us. It's up to us to put a dent in their armor before they cotton on to our plan. That way, we force them to the negotiating table. You want to negotiate with the Renans? It's galling, I know, but it's the only way to survive while securing our freedom at the same time. Th that's But even so, we can't just... If you lot are done talking, there's a lord we came to overthrow. What about you, Xion? What do you plan on doing after we've given the lords the boot? All I know is, my reasons for fighting aren't the same as yours. I'm through answering these pointless questions. So this is Cislodia. How far is it to the capital? We've still got a ways to go. Also, the Zugals here are different than those in Calaglia, so be careful. Got it. Sounds like we should make sure we stick close together as we keep moving. Agreed. Uh, hey, Xion! It'll be hard for me to use my rifle in a pinch if we're all bunched together. I'll follow behind the rest of you. Right. Makes sense. What's up with her? She seems even more upfront than back in Calaglia. In case you forgot, we're in enemy territory now. If you don't get serious and focus on the task at hand, you'll be inviting trouble. Hmm. Don't take it personally. I think that's just the way she is. Plus, you have to remember, with those thorns of hers, she's probably not used to anybody being all that friendly to her. The fact that you can't feel pain means you probably end up getting closer to her than she's used to. You really think so? We're talking about someone who came down to Dana all by herself. But you don't see her homesick for Lenigus at all, do you? No. That alone speaks volumes about how difficult her whole situation must be. Yeah. It's your job as her partner to understand that and give her the support she needs. You two are going to be stuck together for a while, so the sooner you make nice, the better. Make nice? Yep. Now come on. I get that they're not exactly on the best of terms, but... Is everything going to be okay with these people? Rinwell, don't go too far ahead. You never know where Zoogles might be lurking. Oh, we'll be fine. We've been able to handle them up until now. Still, better that you hang back a bit. No way! I'm the one who asked you to come here in the first place, remember? Yeah, but if we lose you, we won't know where to go. Besides, it's old guys like me who should be sticking their necks out first. But... We need you in order to get in contact with the Resistance in Cislodia. So stick close until we find them, okay? Okay. Thanks. Now you've got me wondering, 
How'd you make it to Calaglia in the first place? I find it hard to imagine you didn't run into Zoogles along the way. <sighs> Are you good at hiding or something? Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm just really good at staying out of sight. Wow. Still, you had to have been pretty lucky to have made it the whole way unscathed. Lucky indeed. It's crazy to feel just how much the temperature has changed from crossing over a single peak. Is it really that big of a difference? Definitely. Calaglia was hot. I can only tell from appearance, so... Huh? Huh? Achoo! You might not be able to feel it, but it sure looks like your body responds to it just the same. Seems like it. So if I sneeze, I guess that it's a sign that it's getting chilly. They say that sneezing is often the first sign you're coming down with a cold, too. That's all the more reason you need to be careful with... Achoo! Was that also a sneeze? I just bit my tongue, that's all. No, it sounded a lot different from mine, but I could swear it was still... It wasn't a sneeze, okay? Achoo! Guess we both need to be careful out here in the cold. <sighs> Is it hard leaving Calaglia behind? No. Actually, it's kind of a relief to be away from there. Really? What makes you say that? Because it was getting to the point where every man, woman, and child would come up and talk to me like they knew me. I could barely find a moment to breathe, let alone relax. Well, what you did was kind of a big deal, you know. You overthrew a Renan Lord and burst open the gates of fire. Yeah, but that was only because I had the Blazing Sword with me. We wouldn't have made it to Balsef without you and the Crimson Crow, Zephyr. Uh, maybe so. But you're still the one who took him out in the end. It's only natural for people to look up to those who protect them. You're a hero to those people. I never asked to be one. I... I never asked to take the place of a lord in people's minds. I don't want it. You're a strange one, Alfin. That's for sure. <laughs> If that's how you really feel, then hold on to that. Listen to those thoughts when you feel lost and don't know what to do. If you can do that, you won't lose sight of who you are, or what the right path to take is. The right path to take, huh? What's this thing? I'll take you all off! Here I come! By the power of water! I'll run you through! Here I come! The hell is it! Take it! Touch! Get it! Don't let them form a pack! I owe you one! It's over! I'll run you through! the Zoogles here are a lot different from what we're used to back in Calaglia. It's because this realm is so cold. I imagine they had to be adapted to fit the climate. Meaning if we hit them with fire arts, it should be extra effective against them. I don't pick up my mind. Don't go charging off like that. This one's all night. I've had it coming. We're on. Hell and It's Colonel Torrent. I'm out of ammo. Take this. It's 
Some power you wield. You're the one who did the heavy lifting. What's this thing? Let's dispose of the Take trash. No! Be still! Here I come! Dragon! Dragon! It's over! Pierce through! Airborne beast, my specialty. Reload! Beast! I've got flyers! I've got this! Let a marksman handle it! Be still! All yours! You're finished! I'm all stocked up! You're mine! Gemini all right, Great! Right. On to the next! Roger that! Show me what you can do, kiddo! These little ones are hardly worth our time. Less talking, more pummeling. Cut them apart to your heart's content. My power growing. Would you like to warm up some? Aren't there people in there? You should let yourself unwind when you get the chance. I guess there's no arguing with that.
Hmm? Right. Mm-hmm. Happy now, Shion? Yeah, I'd say so. She better be, after all she ate. I stopped before I was full, though. What? Okay, off we go. Normally I don't pick up the mic. Light him front! Yes, we will escape! Mirage. You're surrounded! Try Just this. stay calm! You're finished! We've turned the tables on him. There are still more left. Got blocked. Right. No time to hold back. This ends now! Consider yourself finished. See you continue on in that thing. Uh. Something you wanted to say? I need to be stronger. Some power you wield. You're the one who did the heavy lifting. There.
cover! Mirage! Getting Try this! Inferno turret! I'm on destruction! See you! You're mine! Tell it! Here I go! Mirage! Do it! Still! This ends now! Consider yourself finished! Everything's coming up, Zephyr! Houses in a place like this. People really live all the way out here? The whole area is just little villages. This one's Messia 224. Wait, I hear something. Sounds like people arguing. Bureau agents. The Snake Eyes must be here. We should sneak past them. That was my original plan, since you all stick out so much. Why? In case one of your people tattles on us? It's the Renans who are making us do it. Oh yeah? Like this Renan who you need to save your people's skin? Well, that's rich coming from the Bright Eyes whose people are the reason we're in this mess in the that's first enough. place. But she started it! Three centuries of resentment is too much to lay at a single person's feet. Same goes for you, Xion. You can't ignore the past when speaking of the present. Now, what's going on in that village? If I were to guess, someone tipped off the Snake Eyes and they're here to make an arrest. You'd better not be about to suggest we get involved. I'm here for the Lord's Head, and nothing more. That go for you too, Alfin? Why did you come? Why? To liberate this realm's slaves, of course. Are you still a slave? Me? No. Then tell me what it means to live unshackled. I'll tell you what it means. It means living on your own terms. Being your own master. Thinking and making decisions for yourself. And being prepared to accept the consequences. Understand? Yeah. I think so. Good. So prove it to me. Shion. Don't start with me. I'm not going, and that's that. I understand. Just wait here with Rinwell till we get back, okay? You're going in without the sword? Looks to be that way. This is my choice, after all. Your choice? Ugh, listen to yourself. That sword's useless to me without someone to use it. You go dying on me out there, and you'll put our whole mission in jeopardy. But I need us all to make it safely to Sisloden. Too many sacrifices have already been made. We came here to put a stop to any more. You've... You've sacrificed something too, huh? Hide somewhere until it's over. You hear me? Damn those Renans. I hate seeing Danon suffering under them here too. I'm surprised you're so angry about it. You're not even from here. 
It doesn't matter where I'm from. Enough is enough with these people. Silence embedded! Anyone who fails to cooperate will be arrested and tried as a traitor to the realm! <sighs> Damn it! Some rat must have sold us out again. You there! You want me to haul you up on suspicion of civil disobedience? But, but I didn't! Ah! What? Leave him alone! An embedded dares to find the orders of his lordship! Know your place, slave! We can't use the Blazing Sword this close to the villagers. They could get hurt. But there are too many agents. Zephyr? Law? Is that you? <laughs> What's going on? Aren't we supposed to be fighting them? You're alive. What are you doing here? The realm of Cislodia doesn't tolerate civil dissidents like you. Law. I hereby detain you in the name of his lordship! Zephyr? Help! Zephyr! Here they come! Drop now! Sword Rain Alpha! Right. You're fine! I'm the true gunslinger around here! Engage him! Come and face me! Sonic, take it off! Release! Fall back! Go! You're Indeed! Huh? You picked the wrong fight! Fire in the hole! Fire! Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Release! Here I come! Play the drum! Go on! Face me! This one's mine! Fall down! You're finished! You're mine! You're finished! You're mine! Laser strike! Burning strike! Fall back! You're finished! You're finished! No escape! Take it off! Zephyr, are you trying to get caught? I'm sure that can be arranged! Not if I can help it! Fall back! Destruction! By the power of the world! Uh, 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 no, 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 you picked the wrong yeah. fight! The fort! Take the mission! Flame of fury! Burning strike! What's going on, Zephyr? Why won't you fight him? <clears throat> Is that soldier someone you know? Don't hurt him. What are you- Please. It won't work, you know. You never change, do you? You've always got that damn knowing look on your face! Zephyr! I got it handled. But he just- He's my son. <sighs> oh, so now you remember me. The nerve of you. I'm gonna wipe that damn look off your face once and for all! Watch yourselves! The insurgents are armed! 
enemy reinforcements. Use the sword. I can't. The villagers will get caught in the blast. We need to fall back! Oh, for crying out loud! <laughs> Suffer! Go. Leave without me. You can't- I'm not leaving without him. Alfin, there's no time! But what about the resistance? Everyone's counting on you! Forgive me. Ugh! We've waited all night, but nobody's shown up. No sign of Zephyr or an enemy pursuit. So, what's the plan now? You really need to ask? We go rescue Zephyr. If he's under arrest, they'll have taken him to Sisloden, the capital city. Assuming he's still alive, that is. I can't believe Zephyr never told us he had a son. I wonder if the rest of the Crimson Crows knew about it. And to find him in that village of all places. Some coincidence, huh? Those fireworks you pulled out of your hat back there. They were astral arts, weren't they? Shion, what the hell are you Except doing? Except I've never heard of a Danon who can cast astral arts. Are you a Renan? Like hell I am! No, of course not. Renan's eyes light up when they use astral arts. And when you used an art, your eyes definitely didn't. So I guess that means you can't be a so-called Bright Eyes after all. Sorry. You're right. Those were astral arts I used. Same as the ones wielded by the Renans. A long time ago, my family... My people were once known as mages. A Danon mage? Up until now, I'd only ever heard of them in stories and rumors. Though now I've seen one with my own eyes, I suppose I'll have to believe it. We've been in hiding for a long, long time. Even before the Renans first attacked. That's why no one knew about us. Even before the Renans? Yeah. My ancestors were persecuted and targeted for their gifts. But it was by their fellow Danans. They lived hidden away all these centuries, keeping their existence secret even from the Resistance. My mom and dad drilled it into me that I was never, under any circumstances, supposed to let anyone find out about us. If that's the case, then why did you use your powers back there? I don't know. One second I saw Zephyr about to be killed, and the next I was... Danon Astral Arts. If the Renans knew such a threat existed, there'd be hell to pay. Hey! What? You think I'm gonna go to the Lords with this information? I'm a traitor and an outcast at this point. Or did you forget? What amazes me is how anyone could have that kind of power and yet keep it hidden all this time. Didn't you ever want to use it to help your people? Don't talk like you know the first thing about me, Renan! That's enough. Zephyr wouldn't want this. Listen, all I care about is taking out the Lords, okay? Which is no doubt what her people want, too. Using her powers to help do it only makes sense. Makes sense for who? Us? Besides, Zephyr comes first. We can't just abandon him. It's fine. Huh? You're going to save Zephyr, right? If so, you're going to need my powers to do it. I don't want anyone else to die. Are you sure?
Then let's get back to the village. We need to find out what happened. Hmm? What's wrong? Nothing, just... I'm surprised how dark out it is. Why wouldn't it be? It's still night after all. No, that's what's weird. A lot of time's passed since we arrived in Cislodia. You'd figure the sun would have come up by now. Oh, right. It's not like this back in Calaglia, is it? To be honest, I completely forgot. Uh, basically? It's always night in this realm. Huh? It's been that way forever. It never gets any brighter outside, even in the morning. So it's always dark all day long? But how? How is that even possible? Did the Renans cause this? Of course they did. It's complicated to explain, though. It'd be easier to just get to Sisloden so you can see what's going on for yourself. I'll take your word for it. But right now, finding Zephyr comes first. I wonder how Zephyr's doing. If that law guy is his son, they shouldn't be rough with him. I want to believe that. But those two didn't look like they're exactly on good terms. Actually, now I'm curious. Can Danans enlist in the Snake Eyes too? Definitely. They're useful for surveillance here. Doesn't win you many friends on either side, though. So why is Zephyr's kid working for the Renans, then? All of creation across the heavens stems from the six essences. We lack only darkness while they are without light. Thus, to achieve perfection... What are you muttering over there? I was practicing a magic incantation. An incantation? Is it anything like the spells that people use today? Not quite. It takes time for me to finish my chants, so I'm practicing saying them quickly and accurately. You know, just in case. I've always tried my best never to use magic if I can avoid it up until now. You said you and your family used to live in hiding, right? Because you were a mage. Where did all the other mages go? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a sensitive topic. It's okay. So, uh, about my magic. You want to keep it a secret, right? Yeah, sorry. A little late for that after what happened in the village, don't you think? Uh, Easy, Shion. It's just... Hmm? I didn't want Zephyr to die. That's why I used it. I know. And we might have lost him without your help. So thank you, Rinwell. Sure. <laughs> Is that owl okay? It's been stiff as a board for a while now. You're right. I wonder what's up with it. Come here. It's okay. I won't hurt you. <laughs> Crap! Huh? What happened? I hate to say this, Renwell, but I lost Hoodle. I didn't mean to scare him, but he took off. Hoodle? He's right next to you. He is. All I see is snow. Dan and Owls conceal themselves when they feel threatened. I guess he's still not quite used to being around other people yet. That would explain it. I should have been more careful with him. Sorry. It's fine. I'm the only human he's comfortable with. Come here, Hoodle! Huh. 
Damn, he was that close? He's just a little wary of you. I think he gets that you're going to be with us for a while, though. Step in the right direction. If you call his name, he might eventually respond at least. Got it. Thanks. At least he's not sick or something. Indeed. It's quite a relief. Hmm. 